Hello and welcome to Zenith Workouts. I'm Rebecca Libby. Today we're going to do a foot workout. So just you, your mat. You can actually sit down uh, to, do the, to do the first bit if you have uh, foot pain, some arthritis, but if you stand you do get a little more very indirect core, but you get a little bit in your hips and your, your deep core as well, your deep abdominals. So um, find a spot on a comfortable surface, your mat or carpet or soft floor, where you have, um, you have the feet in parallel. And you can even encourage you to look down at your feet because sometimes you think they're in parallel and they're lying to you a little bit. One's turned out or slightly ahead of the other. So have a glance because the first thing you're going to do is you're going to sway your weight you know, into the right leg just to say, how does that receive the weight? And then you're going to sway your weight into the left leg, do that little weight shift. You can do another one side to side if you want. But then you're going to really settle into a place where you feel like you have even weight right to left and take the time to sense that. Then I'd like you to sway your weight back into your heels a little bit and then forward into the balls of your feet, very little, but you're just sensing that. And then I want you to come to a place where you have even weight in the balls of the feet as well as the heels, if you can get there or almost there. So you have four even points of weight, right to left, balls of the feet, heels. And your goal for the first bit while we do some toe work is to keep that weight distribution for even points. So take a nice breath in. And when you do that, you're going to raise all your toes. And if you can raise all your toes, you're also going to spread them. And then you're going to pad them back down. So a nice breath in to raise all the toes. Spread them if you can. And pad them back down. And most of us, as we raise our toes, if we're not being deliberate about it, we'll break at the hips or we'll lean back, or there'll be, there'll be the shift, right? We'll put more weight into our heels. So you are having to be a little bit active in your hips, in your core, as you breathe in, you raise all the toes and you don't let that weight shift into your heels go. And if you can you know, lift them, try to lift them a little higher. You're trying to get some flexibility in your toes right here. Spread them a little wider if you can, pad them back down. We'll do two more like that. Nice breath in. Raising all the toes, spreading them if you can, patting them back down. <laughs> and then last one with all the toes. So breath in, you feel a little bit of activity in your hips, in your thighs, in your belly as you lift and spread and pat them back down. We're gonna do some individual toe work. So I want you to keep all your four little toes on the mat and you're gonna try to raise big toes only. If you can raise big toes only, you're also gonna try to pull them in towards each other, in towards the midline. And don't worry if you're thinking, I can't possibly do that. One is always harder than the other out of these two I'll teach you. So try the big toe again, lifting the big toe. If you can, lift it higher and then also pull it in towards the midline, in towards each other. And pad the big toe back down. One more time with big toe only. Um, yeah, <laughs> funny exercises, but they're, they're good for your feet. So good for so many things that we won't get into right here. Pull them in towards each other if you can, access those little muscles, and then put the big toes down. Um, notice I did that without rolling onto the outer border of my foot. I'm still trying to keep those four even points in my, in my feet. Keep the big toes down now and see if you can raise all your four little toes. Again, without shifting your weight or without collapsing the arches or letting the ankles fold in towards each other, and then pad them back down. So nice breath in, raise all the toes the four little ones that is, spread them if you can. It always can get harder. And then keep them wide as you pad them back down. And try the, try the little toes once more, leaving the big toes on the mat. Little toes lift, little toes spread, pad them back down, and then let's alternate. So big toes only without rolling onto that outer border of the foot. Keep a nice even pressure through the balls of the feet and pad them back down. And then little toes only, spread them, pad them back down and see, we'll do two more of each. Big toes only, pad them down. Little toes only, spread them, pad them back down. And you're just, you're really trying not to roll from side to side through the feet as you do this. One more time, little toes only, spread them, pad them back down. And then just to reset, we'll do one more with big toe, uh, all the toes, sorry. Spread them if you can. And then if you want to be fancy, you can put the baby toe down first, then the fourth toe, then the third toe, then the second toe, then the big toe. <laughs> Maybe try that one more time. 
All the toes lift, don't shift all your weight back into your heels, keep a nice posture. And then if you wanna be fancy, try to put the toes down from the outside in. It feels really weird, but it's, it is wonderful for your feet. So there we go. Now you're probably feeling a little, maybe a little crampy in the feet or a little like you worked tiny muscles that you don't usually work. And uh, we're just gonna raise the heel of one foot, put it down and raise the other. And I'd like you to raise the heel a little higher if you can, so that you really actually feel maybe a stretch in the toes or the sole of the foot, you know, through, through somewhere, right? Different, you'll feel it differently depending. It's so individual. And then we'll hold this one. So it doesn't matter which heel you have lifted, we're gonna do both. And then I just want you to roll like a little circle with your knee and your ankle so that you're, you're almost massaging the ball of your foot. You're getting a little stretch through some of the toes at a certain point maybe, and then go the other way. Doesn't that feel nice? And then put that foot down and we'll do the other side. So raise the other heel. You're lifting it to a point where you feel maybe a, just a gentle stretch, like nothing uncomfortable, but you're, you know, you're not doing this exercise for nothing. You're getting something out of it, right? So rolling, feeling good through the, the toes and the ball of the foot, maybe the arch of the foot. And then reverse your circle, go the other way. Yeah. And then put that heel down. Nice, doesn't that feel good? And then I'd like you to do a stretch for the top of the feet. Everything we've done so far has sort of lengthened to the bottom of the feet and brought the toes into flexion. So now you're gonna take, you know, shift your way into your left leg, take the right foot, and you're gonna try to put the tops of your toes on the floor beside you. A little crack there from me. Um, and if this is too intense, you can always put the foot behind you slightly. Like the more the foot is in back of you, then the less intense it is. So just roll over onto the top of that foot and enjoy a stretch through probably like the shin, the top of the foot, even the top of the toes themselves. And if it's too intense in standing, you can always do it sitting and you have even less weight on that foot. And you're just holding it. You know, if it feels good to hold it for a while, you can linger there and breathe and sit in your chair and do some work or just hold it for a few seconds, get that range of motion and then roll out of it. Shake it out a little bit. Do the other side. So rolling over onto the top of the foot. Enjoying that stretch. Like I said, if it's too intense, right beside you, because that, that requires the, the toes to flex a lot, then you could put it, put it behind you. And then it's a little bit less intense and you might even feel more of a muscular stretch through the shin that way. So holding for a little bit of time, not too long. It's good. And then gently release that, walk it out, shake it out a little bit. Uh, and then we're just gonna do a stretch for the calves and the soles of the feet um, because tight calves will often just let us, or there'll be more force landing through the feet that's not being absorbed through the ankles um, if they're stiff. So uh, put your weight into your right leg and just slide the left leg behind you. And you'll have to reach back, reach back, reach back until you get to a point where you can feel, when you put your heel down, you can feel a stretch in the lower leg. So you can hold on to something for balance here. You can lean ahead on a wall. Some people are taught like that. But basically you just wanna get that heel back behind you and onto the floor so that you can feel a stretch somewhere in the back of the leg below the knee. So you're here. And then you're not gonna hang out. You're going to raise the heel and maybe getting a little bit of a stretch through the toes again, and you're gonna put it back down. And you're gonna raise the heel and put it back down. And this is just an active stretch. By contracting the calf, you're thinking maybe as you put the heel back down, you can lean forward more and, and sense the change. So one more time on this side, raise the heel, put it back down, and then see if you can lean ahead a little bit more and intensify you know, your angle at the ankle and get a, a little deeper into the stretch. Then I want you to keep the heel on the floor and then you're gonna bend your back knee. So you're gonna, almost like you're bringing your shin down towards the, the top of your foot or your knee down towards the floor. Heel has to stay down and that'll shift the stretch generally down more towards your heel itself or the Achilles tendon. And then you can gently straighten that and you can bend that heel again bend the heel, bend the ankle, <laughs> and straighten it again. 
and one more time. And you can see how little a movement it is on me. I, I don't have very much movement that way. You might be more flexible. It depends what you do for, for life and activities. I could work on this. And then just gently ease out of that. Do a little walking through the feet if it feels good. And we'll do the same thing on the other side, same stretch. So reaching back with the, the right leg and getting it to a point, leaning ahead or, or widening your, your stance so that when you put that heel on the, on the mat or the floor behind you, you feel a stretch below the knee. And you can, like I said, you can lean on a wall, lean the chest ahead, lean the pelvis ahead, feel that stretch, and then raise the, raise the heel, contract the calf in doing that. And then you put the heel back down and maybe you can lean ahead a little bit more. And we'll do that two more times. Raise the heel, put the heel back down, shift the weight ahead a little bit. It works, eh? <laughs> One more time. Raise the heel, put it back down, shift ahead, and then you'll hold this one with the heel down, and this is where you bend the back knee and straighten it, and bend the back knee and straighten it, and you'll, um, sometimes you won't feel the stretch, like you, you'll often feel it move down into the Achilles tendon area or the back of the heel um, itself, like I said, but sometimes you'll feel it actually as the ankle joint is blocked. It shouldn't be painful or something that you're saying like, oh, I need to get out of that. And if it is like that, you'll stop. But um, sometimes it's the actual joint that you're trying to get a little more movement out of. And that's okay too. You just do what feels good. Last one there, step out of it. Come back to feet in parallel. They might even look like they have a better color because you moved them and you drove some circulation to them. So a little walking there. And then you're gonna end the way you started. Nice parallel. Grounded feet, try to get four even points of weight in the feet. Do one nice breath in to raise all the toes. Don't shift your weight back, it stays exactly where it is. Spread the toes, pad them back down. Keep them nice and long and relaxed. And there you go. Hopefully the feet feel happy. That's just part one. Um, we'll, do, we'll add to it with, uh, with some other work another day. Thank you very much. Have a good one.